Sanders and then the incumbent and the last. These are the man ups that we call us
At the call of meeting, I think confusion reigned amongst the witnesses called by the cabinet member, and there seemed to be no clarity of thought as to what was the motivation behind this particular policy. At first, I was told that there was to be a saving or an increase in revenue of approximately £50,000. But at the meeting, we were then told that any financial benefit to the council was not even considered as a result of the formation of this policy, but rather it was because of some alleged abuses. Alleged abuses that, as Councillor Woodhill Christ has so eloquently communicated to council, weren't even provided any detail of at the committee. These abuses, the details we were given, was as sparse as there is an issue with block bookings of football pitches, apparently. Well, then, if that is the issue, if there are these alleged abuses, then why not combat those abuses? Why not just inject some common sense into this debate and combat the abuses that apparently run ragged throughout this system, rather than affecting all of the veterans that we will be doing if we pursue this policy? Mr. Mayor, at the calling committee, we heard from two veterans who spoke of the great service that they afforded this country. And they, they spoke of how they used the free access to leisure services as a benefit for themselves and their family and how it, 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 do, it does help them in many ways. Mr. Mayor, this policy is simply mean-spirited and just plain wrong. The cabinet member's own witness, a member of the old military organisation, actually admitted that she didn't want to see any passes taken away from veterans. So we, we, we had it from the cabinet member's own witness there. Mr. Mayor, we also had the bizarre sight of a, a member of the committee, uh, one, a member of the ruling group, in fact, misunderstanding the policy so much that he did, in fact, state that under the policy, existing pass holders would still be able to benefit from free access to council pools and gyms. This is clearly not the case. Mr. Mayor, despite our vast political differences, I cannot believe that the intention of this policy was foreseen by the administration. Mr. Mayor, I would ask the cabinet to think again, and I would ask members to support this minority report. Thank you. Okay, I'll call the second of the, the Democrat. One way seconded, Mr. Mayor. One way seconded, and the second for the Conservative was you again. Yeah, I'm happy to call you. Okay, that's been broadly seconded. Uh, we now take the response to the minority report of the appropriate cabinet member.
Naval Health Councillor uh, Gilchrist uh, and Warby Seconded. So all those in favour of the matter can vote please show.